Hello there, dear viewers. This is Russell Tofu 2, and it's time for another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. We just had a storm, and I thought it would be time a good time to close down the storm shelter. Unfortunately, the dinosaur pinball is has become broken by the storm, as can be seen here, since well, it's a big old hole in the roof, and nobody likes that. I have picked up another contract, however, to release a Tsingtaosaurus with the Cardio Strength modification, and I think I'm able to release the Tsingtaosaurus. I recognize the name at the very least. There it is. Let's see here. It requires a lot of friends. Let's change that. Let's give it a step patterning. And what was it? It was the cardio thingamajing modification. So let's see here. And here can I give it something that will increase its wow with the high efficient blood is very good. And the habitat I don't think is important. However, I do think this social thing is important, if I can make it desire a smaller group, that might be better. Let's try. And now for the main attraction. Well, we do have some new fossils. Ooh, and some gold, nice. And some in This may not be the easiest of contracts, but I have a feeling it'll be worth it. I'll try. And some iguanodon amber, that's very good. And some more iguanodon. I just sent them out to find some iguanodons. But now let's do the scary thing here and release the T-Rex with the Tooth Hardness mod. And be ready with the old ACU team's tranquilizer. Because this girl is going to be angry. Where others before you have failed. But as you learn, so do they. They survive. Of course, so does yours. Well, thank you for reminding me that I might die. If I fail, well, could you please tranquilize our Tyrannosaurus? That would be a wonderful thing indeed. We'll definitely put those extra funds you earned on and the Tyrannosaurus failed. The security division is all that stands between our animals and catastrophe. Good to know we have the resources to stay vigilant. Yeah, well, I guess. Please tranquilize our Tyrannosaurus. Please tranquilize it, it's very big. Please just hit it with the old dart. Hit it with several darts. Please, you guys, I need you to tranquilize, tranquilize. Please tranquilize her. Please. Please. She needs to sleep. Just pow, pow, pow. Okay, good. Good. She seems to be asleep. There we are. Brilliant. Now we shall transport her to the little T-Rex enclosure I built for her. Over here with a nice big live goat. Here's just a bunch of meat and this will spit out a goat eventually. And apparently someone is deceased. Oh no, our Laura Titan! She is caught E. coli, that nasty, nasty infection. That you definitely do not want to get. It's a form of digestive infection, I believe. Very unpleasant. Hopefully, we can release at least one Tsintausaurus and then perhaps set it. If it turns out they do not play nicely in groups. Oh, 
As far as I can tell, this doesn't mean that I should enclose them all together, however. So having them in separate enclosures like this could potentially work. And this is going to be where the Metric Anthosaurus is held, and as you can see, you can't really look into it. Which I guess will make the guests a bit grumpy, but, you know, I, I don't care. I thought maybe I could, you know, build one of these two hickeys. Uh, but no, I built it too big. Well, maybe this way they can see it a little bit. Okay, there we go! She's just having some water, she seems to be doing fine. And we're going to name her... What would be a good name for a Tyrannosaurus? Not the YT, just Tara. It was the first name that come, came to mind. There we go, Tara! Having some water. Feeling good. And we can release at least one Tsintausaurus. Apparently one of them is still having E. coli, but you know, hey. We could try having one of these creatures around. And I'm sure someone is going to pop to have a bit of a fit about the population size. And it's probably going to be this girl. No. Done some impressive work. And I thought I was the only competent one around here. You will be Trisha. And I will release your friend as well because you know why not. I love these horn things on their heads. I bet someone is mad. Someone is always mad. These herbivore enclosures, they are a bit... And your name will be... Tammy. Oh no, what? You got E. coli too? What's going on? Why is, why is everyone got E. coli? Come on, I thought I told you to medicate them. Lazy bunch of so-and-sos. Oh, well, let's release the Metriac and the Saurus. And then just do the same thing. Looking beautiful and green. Hello, big girl. These particular specimens will be for export and used on assignment. What? So they need to be the best we can create. Export? Well, isn't that uh, export? Sanity? To the you where? We have their hands full watching them on these islands. Well, I mean, yes, this sounds like an incredibly stupid idea. Oh, she's already asleep. Oh. Oh, that was cute. They didn't even have to dart her. She was already sleeping. That was cute. Oh. And what, I'm going to send them to different countries? And that doesn't sound like a terrible idea? Are you joking? And you woke her up! Hey, hey, you woke her up. That's me. There is a new job available. And I know just the person to do it. Yes, yes. Okay, but, but I don't understand, so what now? Lone dinosaur. Uh, well, again, I think this is an incredibly bad idea, and I don't understand what could possibly be gained of exporting these dinosaurs to different countries, but fine. If that's what you want me to do, George, the very strange safety man, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to have to tranquilize our dear Tara over here. And also... Can I find her? It's Susie over here. 
And they need another shelter. Well, I think I can manage that at least. I mean, there are no shelters around this area of the park, which seems like a bad idea. Perhaps having one up here too would be a good idea. Not uh, that I think about it, considering how this place has absolutely dreadful weather. Well, this one is tranquilized. Let's loan out Tara. The science division is a little stronger because of you. A little. Ooh, some new genes. That's good. And Susie, yes, you are the mission objective, aren't you? Please tell me that you are. Yes, Susie, you are a mission objective. Very good. And when she is tranquilized. Please have some water, dear Susie. Then, well, at least this mission is going to be done. Come on. Come on, I see the dots. No, I hate it when they tranquilize them in the water. I hate that. And I wonder if we're ever going to get our dinosaurs back, and what on earth they're going to do with them when they are being loaned away. Which sounds like a euphemism for basically, you know, sold to some laboratory somewhere. I mean, I have no idea, maybe they're going to be made into dinosaur burgers, for all I know. There are some rich people out there in the world who have basically zero morals when it comes to treatment of animals. So there you are. Someone might want a T-Rex steak, and that's why we're sending them away. Don't fight each other now, you two. It says they're fighting. No, I think it was just a posturing fight. Nice work getting that done. I've had word where to receive our animals back in staggered shipments, delivered to the island in intervals. Dr. Wu has reported that some may be diseased or in less than ideal condition. Let's get on this. Bring these animals back up to our standards. We'll need to do this before they can be reintroduced to the island. Get this done without asking too many questions. And by too many questions, I mean any questions at all. Uh. I why I... We do what we do is above your pay grade. That should be clear to you by now. Yeah, sure, Dr. Wu. You're just going to do something horrible again. Like... Hey, I know! Why don't we build a dinosaur petting zoo and then release a Tyrannosaurus Rex in it? I wonder what would happen. Hmm, what an interesting science experiment. That's basically how Dr. Wu does science. Well, I do have the intensive repair trait that I can research, which does sound rather good. And all of these other things, like increased immune response, which sounds very good. Um, more cardio strength. Hmm. Well, immune response does sound very good. Hmm. All of these sound good. Not aggressive instincts, I'm not really interested in that. But let's just... See if I can perhaps ask Entertainment Division for a new contract. Yo, it's your buddy Isaac here, and have I got something for you. And by something, I mean an offer for you to do something for me. Sounds good, right? Okay, 90% of the Ankylosaurus genome. I will try my best. If I can remember where on earth the Ankylosaurus is found. Well, it's in Skolard formation. It's in Hell Creek. And it's in the Lance formation. So let's try those. I would be, you know, terrified if I actually depleted the Hell Creek or Mountain because there's so many dinosaurs over there. Oh, we're doing pretty good, I'd say. Doing pretty good. Okay, varieties. People would like more unique species, I take it. I guess we're moving the T Rex. Oh, Kira is sleeping. Look at that. Isn't that precious? Hello, Kira. 
Yeah, you're a cute big girl, aren't you? Look at that. Just having a nice dinosaur nap. That's cute. And she's roaming and on the hunt, I think. Or just roaming around. Oh, she's probably just roaming around. I don't know why the music suddenly got all tense and spooky. Maybe it was because I was zooming in on them. But we do have our large and lovely herbivore collection over here. Please come back with some fossils, that would be wonderful. Alright, we have some new fossils. A Dracorex that I can just sell, some T-Rex that I can just sell, some Pachycephalosaurus, um, some Chasmosaurus, some Silver, um, some Edmontosaurus, some more T-Rex that I can just sell. Can I send out a few more? I wanted the Ankylosaurus. Let's try for the Camarasaurus. And I hope that I can choose where I should put my dinosaurs so they'll not just like prop them down in the middle of the park and be like, Oh, sorry, sorry, Bori, it's me here, Dr. Wu. I accidentally put all your the T Rex like right at the guest entrance. Oh no, what an accident. Oops. Another contract. Might as well give it a look, right? Well, sure, this one seems rather easy. Perform two successful expeditions already on it, you know. Out there is as we speak. This is making me very tense. I have to await my dinosaur's return. It's very, you know, I'm on pins and needles here. Because Tara is being delivered to your park. Are you ready to transport it? And Tara was. She was my T Rex, so. Um, sure, if I can choose where I want her. I can. Very good. We shall put her in her enclosure. There you are, Tara. And it appears that she's ill. So I should, I should require, I should need to cure her. And she's got a goat running around, so that's perfect meal, a nice big snack for our Snackosaurus Rex. Um, I wish I knew what illness she has got, so that I can cure her. Potentially I may need to research said illness, if it's something that I cannot cure. But this should bump up the ratings a fair bit, since everybody loves the T-Rex. She has- Oh, she has rabies! Ooh, this could be bad, this could be bad. A rabid T-Rex is one of the worst things I've ever heard of. Yowza, have I researched rabies? Yes, I have. Good, 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 good. Rangers, how would you like to I treat a thanks. rabid T-Rex? In fact, I'm going to say thanks. Have I done it yet? It feels like I have. Well, I've done a few contracts. That was rather nice. Congratulations are in order, and thanks too. So, this is me giving you both. Go on there, Ranger Team One. Please resupply, and then please give her some medication. Poor wee thing. She's just running off the drink, which is good. I want to watch this. They're just refilling their feeder. Hey now, Tara, I know you have tiny arms, but there's nothing to stop you from just bending your head down and having a drink. There's lots of water here. Good girl! 
good girl, you're having a drink. And they're shooting you with darts. You can see the little guy with the dot there. There we go. Oh, and she's running around in the water. Well, have a drink. Have a drink. You're literally standing in water. Don't be a silly goose now. Don't be a silly goose. There, there is, there is, you know, there is water right there. Perhaps I should remove some trees though. Since apparently T-Rexes don't like trees. And I think she's still somewhere around here running around. Susie's been delivered. But let's transport Susie. And not put her in the T-Rex enclosure. Let's put her out here with her friends. If she's sick too, then we would have to cure her. Hopefully she's not sick. And we're getting close to five stars. Come on, Susie. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, that's right. And you've got lots of delicious food too. Just go on over there and have a snack. And we have some new fossils. Hopefully one of them is from the Ankylosaurus. No, because you know... Why would it be? Well, seeing as I have a contract for it. But we have some fungi fossils, interesting. And some gold, so... I want specifically an Ankylosaurus. Can you please pick me up a Ankylosaurus? That is all I win, need, all I want. Ankylosaurus, please. Righty ho, she has had herself a nice big old dinner. Now go on ahead and have yourself a drink of water. Come on, it's right there. Surely you can have a drink. Come on there big girl, yeah! That's a good girl! All right, let's transport the Metriacanthosaurus that I didn't have time to name over here. Heading to pick up the asset. Ooh, and it's ill. I just realized that I haven't put down a meat thingamajing over here, so I need to do that. And perhaps plant some more trees. I don't know what the Metriacanthosaurus needs in terms of woodland. Hopefully this will do. Oh no, she's got E. coli. What should I name you? How about... How about Millie? You're now Millie, the Metriacanthosaurus. And you would like some more grass, so evidently you want me to remove some of those trees I just planted. Is that good? Apparently not. I wonder if I can do something like so. It's a bit ugly, but it will, you know. Hey ho, I'm a fan of doing terrible building solutions like this. So, and let's see, are you happy now? Yes, but you want more trees. Of course you do, because you are the member of the rare species, which is the Thosiosaurus rex. Are you alright then? Yes, you are. Are you joking? I just put in a few 
more trees and that's not enough. Um, so you want me to... Is that better? Yes, that's that's just right. We've got it just right. But we do need to send in a ranger team to cure her of her E. coli. And Tara is having a good time, it seems. You've done good work in the past. That's why I know you are perfect for this contract. Well, sure, I, I'll do that. Incubating a carnivore, that seems easy enough. How about... How about one of these? And the ranger is going in here to cure Millie. Apologies for my snuffling, by the way. You already know that I have a cold, I hope. No diseased dinosaurs detected. I think we did it! Yes! Nice. All right. Let's check the box on this one. Job sorted. You Oops, I guess I accidentally got a goat in there. Interesting report I've just Two goats, no. Seems some of the dinosaurs suffered unnatural injuries. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh no. Oof. Oof. Thanks you, Doctor thank you, Doctor Wu, for being, you know, terrible in every single way. I mean who would unnaturally hurt dinosaurs? That just just awful. Awfulness for the sake of being awful. And naturally not a single one of the dinosaurs actually wanted. Now... Apparently there was some new dinosaur somewhere. But I don't really know where. I would like to get some more Ankylosaurus, so I'm still going to continue on my fruitless quest for the Ankylosaurus. Let's see, I'm getting close to unlocking the Carnotaurus, and I'm getting close to unlocking well, a whole bunch of stuff, so let's just ask for a bunch of contracts. Um, let's do the science division, maybe? I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I mean, you can, of course, but why would you? Seven more dinosaurs? No, that's too many. Sorry. We're getting very close. Let's release our new Dilophosaurus. Small and scary, aren't you? And your name will be. Um. Daphne? I can't think of a good name. Oh. Hey, if this place is a celebration of evolution, then shouldn't our facilities evolve as well? I think that's a yes, and that you should be a part of this, which means another yes. From you. What do you say? I'm sure, I guess. Let's just open the gate. 
Okay, let's this little fella out. Okay, our objective here is to update the park, add excitement, that X factor, or in our case, the T Rex factor. Oh, come on. Come on I'm I already have a T Rex. Huh? Um. Isaac embracing chaos. Now this go on. Huh, yeah, good go. Every show needs a star, and ours is definitely a deal. So that T Rex I mentioned earlier, let's get a new one into the mix. Do it, and a star is most definitely born. Oh, and make sure our guests get a front row seat to the show. Obviously. A T Rex will always draw attention, but I shouldn't have to remind you how dangerous they can be. The world has never seen a more alpha predator. I mean, certainly. They're very dangerous. Let's see if I can give this one a different color. Now can I please have some Ankylosaurus? Yes! Finally! Finally Ankylosaurus! <coughs> Sorry for that cough. Look at all those people! That's great! Now is anyone going to drink it with dinosaurs? Okay, we have a few people coming. That's good. I think everyone is going to see the T-Rex. No, not that many. That surprised me. Maybe we just need another. Track can really help our bottom line. I think you better release a Diplodocus. Well, I guess I could try. You really killed it on that contract. With a rating of. What was it? 219. Okay, so I need to modify the Diplodocus. Uh, I don't like doing that. Okay, and the T-Rex is growing, but slowly, but it is growing. I know I would be happy if I found another dude, if, if you know, if I were the product because I found a friend. Oh, Trisha is sleeping. Yeah, we seem to be able to handle just one more Diplodocus. And it seems the security team is getting a bit cranky, so I guess I could request a contract with them. 
Looks like there's another contract that might be worth your attention. Well, sure. Selling a bunch of stuff. That's that's their day, see. Let's try getting more Iguanodon and more of the uh, what was it called? Well, let's just see what we get. Hopefully, we'll get something that's worth two hundred thousand. Oh, the T-Rex is almost done. When the T-Rex is done, I will move her to the T-Rex exhibit area. And then I will actually end this episode. Because it's been going on for a rather long time and I'm getting rather tired. And all these big girls are just running around. Let's release her. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, we need to get our T Rex front and center. Maximum guests exposure. While maintaining safety protocols, of course. Yes, we'll yeah, tranquilize her. I mean, keep everyone safe, but don't overdo it. The protocols are guidelines, right? First and foremost, let's give our guests the show they come to see. She's already clipping through the fence. Ultimate That's ugly. The roar of our star performer. The possibilities. Well, she's annoyed, which makes sense. And her name is going to be Tyra. Well, there we are. She is tranquilized. And now I'm going to do something that may seem very mean. I'm going to release her in the same enclosure as her other T-Rex. And I'm going to see what happens. I don't know if you can have T-Rexes in small groups or not. But, well, now we're going to see. Righty ho, we have already gotten that security contract done. Look, you know you didn't have to prove anything, but the way you took charge left an impression. Good work. Thank you. Asset transportation underway. Then we're just going to see what's going to happen here. Aw, Tara is sleeping. That's so cute. Yeah, you're a precious big girl, aren't you? Hello, Tara. Yeah, that's right. You're a big girl. Oh, excellent. And of course, there's a storm. Wow. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Hooray. Uh, let's build a storm defense station. Like right now. I hope they don't fight, that would be terrible. Contracts make the world go round. Or is that money? Either way. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care about that in a minute. I hope they don't fight. And let's open the shelters. She's already agitated. Come on, come on. Oh, she's angry because there's another T-Rex. No! Don't do that. Mm. 
Do I have to come here with the helicopter? Oh, brilliant. And a power station has been damaged by the storm. Exactly what we need right in this moment. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. And we probably have to tranquilize this one as well. No power, what's... What's happening? Oh. Fence is... No! No! I've sent you to bloody tranquilize these dinosaurs. Can you please do it? Lazy... Such and such. She might eat someone. Luckily for us, she's just running. But can you please hit her with the tranquilizer dart? Okay, she's down. Don't have them to move. I think the storm is over, but I'm not sure. Let's close the shelters. And let's just see what happens. Why can't you two get along? It's only for two minutes. Do they have to track Tara? To keep Tyra okay. Don't start headbutting the fence. No! Bad dinosaur. Bad dinosaur. Everybody get into the shelters, please. Crank them both, please. Look, this guy's just standing there. Ooh, there's a T-Rex, you know, trying to break out next to me, but it keep, you know, taking pictures or whatever he's doing. Oh, come on. Well, there we are. Both of them are tranked. Let's sell... Let's sell Tara. And keep Tyra. Oh. Wrong thing. And once Tara is so level in this episode, like I promised a while ago, I know it's been dragging on for a bit. But you know how it is, when these things happen, you can't just... Let's close the shelters. 
since it's not a storm happening currently. And apparently you can't keep two Tyrannosauruses in the same enclosure because they start attacking everyone. Okay, so have some food. And have some water and you'll be fine. You're thirsty, so go and have some water. Don't attack the fence, you little. Why are you so naughty? She's the worst behaved dinosaur ever. We cannot believe this. Do I have to drop her like into the water? Oh, please don't eat them, please don't eat them. I think she killed someone. Yeah, I think she killed someone. Oh, this is just like a type of buffet. Oh man, this is terrible. I'm not telling you to take this next contract, but only a fool would pass up this deal. Uh, no thanks. Oh, there she go! Oh, oh! Oh, and the people are just lying there in droves. Well, the rangers here to repair. Yes, they are very good. Now, Tyra, you absolute little. You should be named Tyra the Terror because that's what you are. You're a little terror. You're being very, very naughty. If I put you right over there, will you understand that you can drink the water? People are going to be very angry. Yes, poor safety. Guest injury is catastrophic. Well, you know, makes sense, I guess. Good grief, all this just because one dinosaur is thirsty. Meanwhile, our Metriacanthosaurus is doing absolutely fine and harming no one and has never ever been this naughty. And I don't think if I'll ever get back to that four and a half stars I was at earlier. Thank you, Tyra. If you're thirsty, have some water, it's right in front of you. Do you see that? Water! Drink some water. Don't you dare attack that fence. Don't you dare. Go and have a drink. Go and have a drink. I literally put... Why are you so stupid? There's water in... There's no brain in that thick skull of yours, is there? There's no brain. Okay, good. Now you're finally looking for water. Finally, that took years. You just had to head but the fence, didn't you? And there's water. Oh, what the... Oh. Yeah, that was annoying. Yeah, that's how we do it in the entertainment division. Sure, the scientists can bring them back from the brink, but we put them in front of the world. Heck of a job. Heck of a job. What's wrong I with the appeal of featuring the T-Rex? I mean, I get it, really. But if that show of yours ever goes pear-shaped, well, you know what can happen. Any doubt? I just saw what could happen. The T-Rex goes loose and starts eating people. There's water right there. If you can't see it, my friend, then that is no problem of mine. There we go. Finally, you drink some water. Do you want a biscuit? Should I have to buy? Dinosaur biscuits for you now and give you one every time you've been good. Is that it? Tyro, you very, very naughty girl. <sighs> that was a bit of a disaster. And I will end this episode right here. Zooming in on Tyro, the very naughty girl. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 
a bit chaotic episode of Jurassic World Evolution. This has been Trestle 2 for 2, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope that I shall see you soon with another episode, preferably one where I'm not sniffly and congested from being ill. And I shall leave you with that. Thank you all so much for watching. Be kind to each other, take care of each other, and I hope you have a good time. See ya! Bye!